So, so far we have seen the correlation between restrictive pathologies and pulmonary compliance. Now, let us shift to another topic which is uh, pulmonary surfactant. Now, in the simplest form which I can explain is that, that after expiration, there is significant loss of intrapulmonary gas pressure or let us say intraalveolar gas pressure. This pressure is required because the alveolar membrane has a surface tension parameter. That surface tension is trying to reduce the surface area of the alveolar membrane and thereby causing collapse of alveoli in absence of the contained gas pressure. So if there is no gas pressure, there will be collapse of alveoli, which is called atelic tasis, and we have to balance between these two forces. So when we first talk about uh, uh, this equilibrium, we have to follow a mathematical model, which is closely resembling the young Laplace model, which suggests that the pressure inside the alveoli, or more precisely, the gas pressure inside the alveoli, must be greater than uh, uh, 2 gamma by R parameter, where gamma is the surface tension. So if surface tension within the alveolar membrane is gamma, then 2 gamma by R, where R is the radius of the alveoli, assuming that alveoli has a spherical symmetry to it. In that case, uh, the pressure of gas should be greater than 2 gamma by R. Otherwise, the alveolar membrane will collapse upon itself, resulting in atelic tasis or collapse of alveoli. Now, uh, in order to prevent this, we cannot uh, you know, increase the uh, gas pressure to some extent, but we can obviously decrease the surface tension. And decreasing surface tension might involve chemical methods, and one such method is obviously the role of pulmonary surfactants. Uh, these pulmonary surfactants are chemicals. In fact, they are class of chemicals. Uh, they have a functional name rather than a chemical name. So it does not mean when we say pulmonary surfactant, it could be a uh, protein or it could be a phospholipid. Generally, pulmonary surfactants are amphipathic, which means that they have a hydrophilic end, which is associated with the membrane of alveoli, and also a hydrophobic end, which faces the gas interface or the air in the alveoli. Now, this pulmonary surfactant, which includes uh, amphipathic phospholipids and certain amphipathic proteins, their goal is to reduce the surface tension, or in other words, the gamma parameter. So, if the gamma parameter is less, then we obviously need less air pressure. So, the air pressure after expiration will be good enough to maintain the alveoli in the open state and thereby preventing atelic tasis.